is new And it seems really, really hard to do You feel like quitting You feel you're through By 10 neurons of force on Kenneth for 10 meters Calculate how much work has Steven done on Kenneth Ex Explain your answer So Steven Steven is the, representing the force And the force is moving this way So it'll be F of Steven And Kenneth is moving the same direction. So that'll be displacement of Kenneth. So that means the um, cosine is um, zero degrees still. Yeah. So the same way. To, to find the work, we gotta, we gotta do the equation. Work is equal to F D cosine theta. And, it's confusing. Um, so we plug in. Um, work is equal to um, 10 to n. Hmm? Force is 10 n. Yeah, 10, 10 neurons. Newton. Or newtons. <laughs> times um, displacement. Displacement, which is 10 meters. Times cosine. And like we said, um, since they're going in the same direction, the angle is zero. So cosine of zero degrees. Um, so. 10, 10 newtons times 10 meters times one. So 10 times 10 is equal to 100. So work is equal to 100 joules. Thank you, Sam. Yep. So first we have to know that the, um, the direction that they're both going in. So Irene is pushing Jerry this way and Jerry is going th um, the opposite way. So one is this way and the other one is that way. So that would mean cosine is 180 degrees because it's, um, because it's pushing his voice back. Because Jerry is pushing back. So we have to use the um, work equation to find out how much work she, um, she did, which is F. F of D equals cosine of theta. So we know that the force is 10 newtons, so we plug in 10 for that. And then we know that the um, displacement is 10 meters, so we also plug in um, 10 for that. And then we know that cosine is um, 180. You should thank Takia. So, well, we just simplified like regular you know, algebra. 10 times 10 is 100. Um, Newton's times um, mean, um, displacement would be joules, and then cosine cosine 180 is negative um, negative one, so you get negative one times 100 joules, and it becomes negative 100 joules. That's how much um, that's how much work she did. So W equals negative 100 joules. So. What we know so far is that the force of C is 10 newtons and the displacement is 5 meters. So we can draw this here, 5 meters to the west, this is the displacement, and the force is right like this. So we need to use the work equation. The work equation is force times displacement times cosine theta. So, in this situation, the force of chance is 10 newtons. The displacement is five meters. And because this is at a 90 degree angle, this means that our cosine theta is cosine 90. Awesome job. So, when we multiply this, we get 10 newtons times 5 meters. That gets you 50 joules. And the cosine, nine, the, um, the cosine of 90 degrees is 0. So when you multiply this all, you get 0 joules. Chaz did 0 joules of work. Thank you.